here we go. Welcome back to Sports Econ 101. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Vern Glenn. Hello, America. And Bruce McGowan. Hello there. Okay. And, uh, and, and let's see, our, the good doctor did come in today. So we have a special guest. Dr. There's Mike. a doctor in a the doctor house. in the house. There he is. Oh, my aching leg. <laughs> He's not that kind of doctor. Oh, okay. Okay. But he is an MD. And uh, his name is Michael Ciaratino, and he's going to discuss with us athletes and addiction because he has a, a special place where uh, they do pain management and a detox facility. Dr. Mike. Mike, 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 <laughs> okay, so, yeah, then you can leave. No. Okay, so get about stay about this close to the mic. Okay, go ahead. Tell that tell that, that story about the NFL player. Okay, uh, this is a true story. Uh, NFL team, uh, which shall remain anonymous. Of course. Uh, I was friends with some of the guys on the team, and uh, the team was sold, and the new owner was uh, pretty much a solid Christian guy, and uh, really wanted to get rid of. Some of the players, uh, my friends, all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so he hired this ex FBI agent to, to, to tail them. And um, wow, so he wanted to clean up his own team. That's, that's yeah. it. He, he wanted his, his team. team. Well, yeah. he wanted character guys on the team yeah. and no misfits. Yeah. Okay. All right. What kind, of, what kind of an NFL team is that? Well, yeah. that's a, from our standpoint, that's a boring team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want a bunch of choir boys. Oh, <laughs> the problem was the new owner. That was yeah, a problem. That sounds like it. Well, he writes the checks. So anyway, uh, I got a call one uh, afternoon by one of the players, and he said, "Doc, you got to help us out, man. They're they're going to spring a a urine test on us uh, in a couple of days, and we got to pass this, and we're we're out." And uh, I said, "Well, I suppose I can help you guys, but uh, you guys got to bring in um, all your drugs." And cocaine was was the big hit in the '80s, and so they uh, brought all their sort of substances to my house, and uh, I um, was doing emergency medicine, so I gathered up uh, IV supplies and some Lasix, which makes you pee like a racehorse. In fact, racehorses pee like racehorses. <laughs> That's where the term comes yeah, from. Yeah. Uh, Did I know that was a side effect? <laughs> and uh, right. uh, some. Uh, injectable vitamin C because if you acidify the urine, you can get rid of uh, cocaine much quicker. So. Which, which I got to say, a little uh, caveat here: we're not giving medical advice to the uh, no guys at home. home. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I hooked these two guys up uh, to these IVs in these recliner chairs while I sat at the table at the table snorting all their cocaine. <laughs> 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 Well, you have to get rid of the evidence, right? <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did. And uh, <laughs> so he looks over him and he says, "You're a real a hole, Doctor Steve." <laughs> yeah, man, he couldn't, he couldn't get up because he was strapped out. Of the <laughs> 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 they passed the test. Yeah, come on, that's a small price to pay. Yeah, yeah, that that was you saved their careers, Doc. Yeah. Jeez. So that was in the old days. That was in the old days. You're all yeah. cleaned up. That's exactly I mean, once they pass the test, yeah. they could always go out and get more white powder. That's, that's true. true. That's, you true. Know? that's a good point. Good point. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, I thought that was a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great story. Okay. Oh, so, mighty. Really? I love that laugh, Bert. That's a good one, man. <laughs> that looks like that. I'm going that laugh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, man. <laughs> okay. So. What's the typical situation? Now, again, this is a sports show. I know you deal with people, yeah. non-athletes also. But what's mm -hmm. a typical situation where you know someone comes in? But again, let's let's talk about the sports athletes, sports right. athletes. You know, how do they find you? What, what what's the, the procedure? Um, a lot of the guys uh, have uh, chronic injuries that have been masked through the use of substances like um, uh, Tordol, which is an injectable non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent and it's used routinely today uh, somebody gets hurt during a game and it's it's non-narcotic but it's really a powerful anti-inflammatory agent so some of these guys during the game will get hurt and they'll get shot up with this tortol and it so can it so can what? so not just like you know getting a concussion here's two a lead and come back in about 10 minutes <laughs> that doesn't work for concussions no. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> it 
it does it does mask the pain that these guys have from a lot of the, their injuries, and so they're able to finish the game, but at, at the expense of you know whatever extremity or joint we're talking. Oh, oh yeah, about. can you imagine like these what these NFL linemen have fifteen surgeries, you know, to their knees? Yeah, right. maybe they should just change the rules and have them all stand up. I, you know, there's been, I remember the story, the famous story, and again, there are probably 100 guys that have had this happen since. Jack Youngblood, you remember this first, played in a Super Bowl with a broken, with a broken leg. leg. With a broken leg, he just wow. a couple, couple, yeah. couple of shots and said, I'll be fine. Wow. And he had a broken leg. I guess so these guys are. I know, guess an ankle's a little different. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, Cr- Crumry, Crumry? Tim Crumry? Tim Crumry, yeah. yeah. He, it was like, what, the third play of the game or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, Dr. Mike, you're, I get the feeling you're, you're the guy. You're like, you know. You know, you know those movies, those scenes where somebody says, you know, I know a guy that, that knows a guy. You're the guy! You mean to get drugs from him? <laughs> 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 to uh, essentially to, uh, a, a, a fixer. I can fix you. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I see these guys, and they they have, um, they, they run the gamut of medications, and like many people, they start off with Vicodin and Norco, and advance to... Uh, Oxycontin, and then some of them get, uh, you know, tied up even with heroin uh, as a result of that. So I see them when they're hooked on on opiates, uh, opioid drugs, because of their pain. You, you know, I I was always afraid <clears throat> to try all that stuff because I actually I was afraid I was going to like it. You probably you know? would, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so I've had to, you know what, best thing to do, don't even try it because yeah. I know all the bad stuff that happened well, afterwards. Edwards, in all seriousness, I had a brother who got into the drug scene. He was 16. He came up to me and said, Bruce, I, I have the best thing that will, set, that will bring you closer to God that I've ever seen. It's called LSD. Oh, I was 15 geez. years old when he told me this. Ooh. And you know, this kid was 18 years old, or 17 years old, he's frying his brain in acid. Wow. So he never he never got out of it, so I never got into it. Well, yeah, that, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, that's why. Just yeah. a quick story. We had a, um, I used to work at the bowling alley, and you know, of course, with the guys who hang out at the bowling alley, right? But I, I kept myself pretty clean. But uh, this one guy came in one time, he goes, Oh man, I just dropped some acid. I'm on this wild trip, man. You know, and so uh, these other guys and I decided to teach him a little lesson. So we we brought him into the car and we just kind of distorted, started distorting our faces and John what? He's all oh, don't do that. You're freaking me out. Wow. Oh man. And he's in the middle of institution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guy's like. He's like, like slurping. He's, he's having uh, you know yogurt for for lunch. Oh, <laughs> right, we wipe one over there. That, that's it. And of course, I get blamed for yeah, that. Yeah, you get blamed. Yeah. Oh. So, Doctor Mike, do get guys? Do you ever get guys come up to you and they go, "Hey, look, Doc, uh, you know the uh, this this team, they just uh, you know they just drafted a guy in my position, and I'm just trying to hang on for a couple of years, but the pain is so great. God, just give me something, you know, to kind of kind of kind of just." deal with the pain and then that's I, I bet that's more common than you would think it is and in the old days I would have done that uh, I would have given him something but, but no more huh? I, I, no I don't do it anymore yeah. 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 yeah I would have confiscated what they had and, and <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you were killing two birds with one stone there you go yeah, exactly. <laughs> at least they don't afford it anymore you go, guys, this will be good for you. Yeah. Okay, we are going to cut to our first commercial break, and our theme is college sport team names. This one's, a, this one's kind of easy this week. I, I busted your guys' chops the last two weeks, so we get it a little easier here. All right, what is Wake Forest's football team name? Deacon DeFerno. Oh! Dr. Mike jumps in there right off the jam. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but you, you, well, hopefully, the audience didn't hear that too quick. Is this that kind of test? Well, well, no, no. It's a tease to the audience. Yeah, so, we, yeah. exactly. so we throw it out, we take a break, then we come back and answer it. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll still stay with that. The first three callers with the correct answer were a free three-day, two-night stay at the Lighthouse Resort. Oh, I should have warned you this man. ahead of time. <laughs> too late, sorry. The website is <laughs> lighthouseforfun.com. Call 888-660-4495 to answer this question. Hey. What is, now don't say anything now. What is Wake Forest? Shut his mic team? off. <laughs> <laughs> Wake Forest football team's name. 888-660-4495. Make sure to include your name, your email, and I just speak slowly. Spell it not like most of how you speak. Pretty slowly. <laughs> we spell out your email one letter at a time. Don't touch that dial because Sports Econ 101 will be right back. That was classic. That was great. That was I got to say, I finally win something. <laughs> 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 what is Wake 
<laughs> you niggas. <laughs> Pam, speed round. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe I gotta get some of that stuff in me so I can speak faster. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic. Uh, what I love about coming here, I feel like I get therapy whenever I come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, laughing, I'm laughing so hard, my body is just so relaxed. Listen, my job is to make you guys enjoy yourselves. <laughs> no, seriously, it's it's serious. Every time I come out of this place, I'm laughing. It's oh, great. good. It's good stuff. <laughs> Half is Vernon. Vernon's got that laugh. He's supposed to be gone. I love that laugh, Vernon. I tell you, you don't market that laugh. <laughs> Bottle it. Bottle it. And shelve it. Put it on the shelves. It. Exactly. God. Uh, Whenever you're in a bad mood, just kind of open a little bit. <laughs> Before we get into other things that I have, like fantasy football and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I want to finish up with the, with the good doctor here. Yeah, Whatever right. you want to, uh, anything specific you guys want to talk yeah. about? Uh, Whatever you, you feel like. Glad to see Andrew Bogus going to be back. Huh? I'm interviewing him. Are you? Thursday night. I'm, I, I, as a favor to Raymond Ritter, I'm emceeing this, this, this. Uh, night with Andrew Bogus. Nice. And it's going to be at a school oh, in San like Francisco. Fun. No, but God, is there anybody in the community visible like the, like the Warriors? No. I mean, every week I get all these. Every week there's something going on. They really know how to go out and get to the. Oh phone. my God! How many? There's only twelve guys on the team. No, it's great. How many emails do you got? Just, from the Warriors? Just for God. I pro I probably. Uh, Hundred a day. Oh, how many emails do I get a day? Yeah, I don't mean like garbage stuff, you know, but just, you know, from, stuff the, from like, the local teams? Yeah, right. yeah or just, you, you usually know. get a couple a day from each team, don't I you? Get, I get uh, two or three. From the team or not? I get, I get, I get, audience? I get multiple ones from like Cal every day. Oh, Cal says. But I mean, but every, but uh, I probably get. I don't get anything from Stanford very often, do you? Yeah, once yeah, while, yeah, well, every once in a while, more related to the football team. Yeah. I only get it from when they want money. <laughs> well, I like but I get, to, I just get, to, I just get inundated. Yeah. I mean, do you get a lot of like fans writing it? You know, no. no, the only time I hear from a fan is if I, is if I did something wrong, yeah. mispronounced a name, or, or. I heard from what, what, One time I said, one time I said, uh, one time I said Forty Nine er Nation, and I got vilified. Oh. By the it's Forty Nine er Empire. It's that uh, nation. Oh, That's the rest of the other team. I thought yeah. the Raider fans were going to call in and say, oh, oh my God, it was, oh, it was just, oh, it was <laughs> <That's> awful. <laughs> Well, I oh, have an empire is what they call it. It's called the 49er thing. Empire. Uh, don't don't ever say 49er Nation. Uh, no, that's I know Raider Raiders. 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 But I don't know. You know, it's interesting. Last, last week I asked uh, on, the, on the business show, I asked, uh, we were doing movies. And uh, okay, I said, you know, it, Leslie Nielsen says in this movie, uh, I picked the wrong time to stop sniffing glue. What, uh, the wrong week. What Airplane? movie is that from? Airplane. 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 But then two people emailed me back reminding me it wasn't Leslie Nielsen. It was Lloyd Bridges. Uh, Lloyd Bridges. Uh, that's thought, right. Oh, that's right. They were right. Uh, they were right. Good. Yeah. Leslie Nielsen was amazing. It's amazing how people are on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You just never know. Yeah. I uh, two people from two people. I got an email from a guy that s swears I said uh, Calaspo and not Kiaspo. Oh, the, uh, the 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 A's infielder. I don't nice. remember saying that. I mean, I you know what am I gonna do? Just. You know, it's it's I, I, I've, I've heard stuff that, I, that I've listened to myself. You, you just, you just, you, you, you just go, <laughs> LOL, thank you very much, yeah. send. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Meet me outside in 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Meet me outside. You know, it's funny. If you, want, if you want some good relief, comic relief, read Rich Lieberman's blog. He has, he has the 415. Well, don't read his blogs. The blog is fun enough. Read the comments on the blog. It's hysterical. People complaining about this person, that person. The best is the Amy G haters. The Amy G haters. There's an army of them. Oh, there's oh an army God. of them. And they just. She, she was a hot public policy. But her first year, Edward, she had no business. Oh, she's being still. Being a sideline dugout oh, reporter. She's still kind of a For a thing. major league base. She had she's, no business. No, she's just pretty. Well, but she's not She's not a trained professional. It's quite She's obvious. not a trained professional yeah. broadcaster. No, she's not. She's well, not. Just she's not like Mindy Bach or. No, there's only some women who are really good, but they have her. I mean, don't they have her just like at the games, just sort of like she does the little kitschy and, features. That's yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it's funny. That's why he goes. I'm little tired PSAs of this during the game oh, yeah. and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah. but she, but she is the interviewer post game of you know the player of the game. Yeah. You know, and, and she's right. supposed to you know objectively ask him about the game and you know, you know what's he single? Forward. Are you dating anybody? You know? so, <laughs> <God. that's bad. coughs> she's married, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Paul Goodyear. Paul Goodyear who works there also. 
He's the Raider beat guy. There you go. There you oh, go. He just, uh, yeah, he's yeah. just, uh, now he's going to, now he's working for, uh, uh, is he NFL.com? He's really? Like, yeah, he's, he's, he quit he's, 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 the, he's the Raider, but yeah, he had to, yeah, they leave CSN. Well, yeah. they don't pay the from CSN. What do we want to ask the good doctor here about, you know, because he's in the detox thing, you know, like what, how long does it take to, to come out of that stuff? The guys go back in. You know, I was curious. Do you deal with strictly foot? Have you dealt with strictly football players? Have you dealt with basketball or hockey or baseball? Or whatever? Uh, I, 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 I like to know. I like who are the worst offenders. Yeah, are baseball they players, football, football players, football because of the basketball injuries. players. Yeah. I'd say probably football players. Yeah, I was say. Okay, well let's yeah. do that on the yeah. air. Welcome back to Sports Econ 101. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Vern Glenn and yeah. Bruce McGowan. Hey. And we are in the studio with Dr. C, Michael Cherokee uh, And we're going to let him answer this question because he already did. Uh, what is Wake Forest's football team name? Uh, uh, <laughs> Demon Deacons. Demon Deacons. Hey, you know, correct. Can, can, can anybody name just two well known Demon Deacon athletes? Yes. Okay. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, there's one. That's very good. Who's the other one? Um, Tim Duncan again. No, how about, how about, how about Chris Paul? How about, there you go, that's it. Oh, Chris Paul came in. Yeah. Yeah. And how about Brian Piccolo? Remember? Oh, yeah. Brian, yeah. Brian, Brian Piccolo. Piccolo. Brian Piccolo. Remember the Brian song? Brian song? Yeah. He was buddies yeah. with Gail Sears. They did that wonderful, heart-rending movie with James Caan and uh, yes. Judy Pace and uh, I'm trying to think, uh, 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 Billy Dee Williams. Yes, Billy Dee Williams. Great. He did great yeah. job. And Shelley Fabre. Played Shelly Fabry. Yeah. She, she was hot in her yeah. younger oh, days. Oh, God. Yeah. On the Donna Reed show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shelly oh, Fabry. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I actually can tell I was a Shelly, Shelly Fabry fan. Uh -huh. All right. Um, I don't think that would have hit the 18 to 49 demographic. They, but I have to ask you the question. Up. Ginger or Marianne? Oh, Everyone yeah. says Marianne. <laughs> I say Ginger. She's uh, hot. She's she, a starlet. How can you say Marianne? Come on. Dr. Mike, what do you think? Ginger or Marianne? Uh, Gilly Gilly. Either one would be fine with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're alone on an island. You have to populate the, the world. Who are you going to impregnate? Ginger, come on. It's a Mrs. Howell, baby. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Howell, there yeah. you go. Oh, lovey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to divert you. That's okay. No, no. On the, uh, uh, during the break, we were, we were wondering about different, uh, <laughs> different athletes, different sports. Which is the worst that you've seen, you know, basketball, football, baseball, with regard to, like, needing uh, I've probably seen more football players than, than any other sport. Is that because of the pain they go through and that they I, need certain drugs? I, I, I imagine that's what it is. Uh, you know, it's probably the, um, maybe some, some, uh, what the availability of drugs, but, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, just the, the macho image and, and dealing with pain all the time and uh, having to deal with pain, uh, as part of the sport. And there's, there used to be a lot of drug use. And then how, how do you um, advise them? I mean, what do you do in the detox center specifically to get them off? Um, well, specifically, um, if they're on opioid medication, there's a, a sublingual medication called Suboxone, and it revolves under the tongue. It, it, it's, a, it's also a, an opioid, but it only exerts partial activity. And so it relieves the person of all their withdrawal symptoms and takes care of their craving. Okay, now I'm, I'm really naive when it comes to this. When I hear opiate, I think of opium. Yeah. Is, is it other than, I mean, I'm okay. telling you other than opium. Yeah, well, opioid just means it's uh, similar to opium in terms of uh, its effects. And almost all of these drugs that are, are used to treat pain are uh, they're either semi-synthetic or synthetic still opium down the main product is morphine so i'm taking notes here the morphine. <laughs> you get about 10 percent codeine and one percent is a substance called thebane and you'll never get this but it's it's it was named after the ancient egyptian capital of thebes <laughs> why i don't know well you know it, it's it's weird, weird i tell you again this is how naive i am i go into cbs pharmacy and i'm looking for pseudopet and suddenly it's like it's not on the shelf yeah i go i don't get it and they go don't you know and i go no they go that's how they make meth yeah see and again a couple of eyebrows oh. raised you didn't know that either. Oh. breaking bad no breaking but, bad is that so pseudofed is off the market 
Well, no, no, no. You have to get like get over the counter. counter. Yeah, over the counter. But I mean, really? you literally have to get them it's from the. Ticket. You didn't know that either. No. Well, was it, was it one particular? Uh, what is it? Something in Sudafed that? Uh, it's, no, pseudoephedrine can be converted to oh, ephedrine, yeah. which can be then converted to methamphetamine. Oh, wow. I tell you that ephedra stuff is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you if you use correctly, I remember uh, there was a, a friend of mine who uh, had a vitamin store, and he was like, "Yeah, you got to try this stuff." And I can't remember the name of it now, but it had ephedra in it, and this was just before they took it off the market. Mm -hmm. And Metaboost, that was the name of it. And holy smokes, that boy, you could get a great yeah. workout with that. And then, I mean, you'd work it through your system. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess, you know, a couple of guys died from, like, overdosing. <laughs> you know, that, do you ever, uh, w w if you get people hooked on, you know, marijuana, I mean, does that seem to be, like, like Al, are you got to be kidding, don't even come here type of thing, or, or do you deal with that? Too? Well, you know, for the longest time, marijuana was thought to be non-addictive uh, because people say, well, it, it classically does not raise dopamine levels, which dopamine is the feel-good neurotransmitter. That all the all the drugs of abuse um, raise dopamine, and dopamine reinforces uh, our uh, tendency to repeat certain activities that produce higher levels of dopamine. For instance, uh, doing a, uh, a shot of OxyContin, injecting it, would give you about 200 times uh, the amount of dopamine release as a good uh, a good roll in the sack. <laughs> wow. See, when I hear roll in the sack, to me, that means something different than marijuana. <laughs> right, right, yeah. 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 I, that actually kind of stuff is nasty. I have, I have two questions. Yeah. Here's the first one. Uh, let's do, athlete XYZ comes up and says, hey, Doc, I got a test coming up in, I don't know, in, in, in five days. Uh, when, 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 whenever this person takes whatever cleansing agent it is, uh, how long does he have to like? Does it have to be in his system in order for him to be able to That's take this question. test and pass it? Well, it kind of depends on what test you're talking about. Some of these uh, just just the just the basic. Hey, I got to pee in a cup and yeah, I got to test it. Or, or, yeah, go ahead. yeah. So to, to pass a test that, that may involve all substances. Um, most of these substances have to be uh, you know, in your system, they will say overnight. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and the, the other question is, when you hear an athlete, and it happens all the time, guy fails a drug test and, and it tested for, you know, whatever, and he comes and goes, oh, man, I, hey, hey, it was prescribed to me, and I, I, I didn't know I was taking it. Do you look at it and go, man, you're full of crap. You know what you're taking. Right? Exactly. Yeah, well, you have to know in, in certain professions, you have to be aware of what's in you know, drugs prescribed or otherwise. Yeah. How, how many guys come to you and want to want a Keith Richards, full of Keith Richards, you know? Um, well, you, you know, know what I mean? I, it's like they want their whole blood transfused. Yeah. Um, I, I've never had anybody seriously ask for that. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, you got to be pretty messed up to ask. And then here's the big one. Barry Bonds. Legit or not? Uh, in terms of what? In terms of him saying, "Oh, I, I, I took flaxseed oil, and I, I, I didn't know, I, I didn't know this stuff was." Uh, I think he should be kicked out of baseball. Personally, <laughs> he was, <laughs> and he was. Yeah, I think he should never records, play again. You know, his records have removed. You know what he's doing now? He's racing bicycles. He's down to 190 pounds. Really? Yeah, you you got to see the guy. He looks great. Probably the weight that he had when he started with yeah. the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was a yeah. string band. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I did not recognize him when I saw him last year. At the, you remember Vernon? They had that reunion out at the ballpark. Mm -hmm. and he showed up with Jeff Kent. And there, his head was smaller. His shoulders were smaller. Yeah. I mean, he still looked impressive. But he was not a big, hulking, you know, linebacker. Just looks like just looked like a regular fit dude. Yeah, just like a regular fit mid mid forties guy. So, wow, it's yeah. amazing what those steroids will do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, someone told me who used to take steroids. He goes. If you don't continue to work out, you can't just take, take no. steroids. You actually have to work yeah. your body to, yeah. to get and the muscles. And yeah. a lot. And yeah. then the thing is, if you don't, they just start kind of shriveling away. Yeah. They don't necessarily turn to fat. They just kind of shrivel Don't a lot of them shrivel up, too? Yeah. <laughs> this is a family show there, Bruce. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shrinkage? Shrinkage? Shrinkage! I, I was in the pool! <laughs> 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 
All right. Um, okay. I want to get into there. Thank you, Doctor uh, Doctor C, Doctor Sheratino. Thank you. In California, you get the what's the name of your, your uh, place that people come? Uh, well, there's there's two parts to it. I have uh, my private practice. Uh, I bought a building there at the corner of Third uh, and Irwin, and uh, uh, so I have my private practice there. And the other part of the building is North Bay Pain Management. Services. Okay, so those people listening in New York, because they those people you do have fly out to, yeah. to come see you, because you have celebrities and all kinds of people come to and, detox. And there's a sign around the side that says "Detox Docs," because uh, putting a sign out front, it really, uh, I think, so uh, people know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, broadcast too much about it. You know, addiction services is probably not good. For that does that's not too good. No. Do you right. watch? Uh, do you watch the show Breaking Bad? Uh, I've seen it before. Yeah. Uh, I just yeah, wondered if you want if if, if I, I just the, the big thing is whether whether people want uh, the central character to get away with it or not, or get either get away with it or be caught. But uh, <laughs> you know, you that's for another that. show. Yeah, I was gonna say you'll you'll have to explain that one to me. Well, uh, Dr. Sheratino, thank you so much for joining us in the studio here. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Okay, now I'm gonna ask the second commercial question and don't answer okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn his mic off. All right, here we go. Second commercial break. Second trivia question. In basketball, what is Rutgers team name? I know, no, I know. As Homer Simpson would say, don't, don't. Okay. Don't. <laughs> the first three callers with the correct answer would have three day, two nights, stay at the Lighthouse Resort. By the way, Doctor, see, do you know this answer? No. Oh, there we go. Ah, well, then you can answer. The <laughs> okay, call 888-660-4495 to answer this question. In basketball, what is Rutgers team name? See, I couldn't ask you anything easy like this. Is it the same as the football team, though? You know, it might be. Yeah. But just for fun, I thought okay. I'd ask a basketball That's question. That's a trick question. Mm, is it not? Okay. Yeah. Well, well when you, you can get, say, you know. When uh, you come back to the answer, uh, we'll find uh, out if it's a trick question. Remember a certain famous talk show host that uh, got suspended yes. over making fun of yeah, the true. Rutgers women's basketball team? Oh, days. that's right. Okay, call 888 660 4495 to answer this question again. Uh, in basketball, what is Rutgers team name? Give us your email. Speak slowly, spell out your email one letter at a time. Don't touch that dial because Sports Econ 101 will be right back with some more interesting conversation. Oh, yeah. Scarlet? Scarlet Knights. Scarlet Knights. Scarlet Knights. Scarlet Knights. Scarlet Knights. That is correct. I used to, I I, I used to, I used to date a women's basketball player from Stanford. She was 6'5. Man. She was like as tall as me. And it was kind of weird going up with her. She was kind of short. She's talked kind of like she had the guy sort of. But was she going to climb? Of course, she didn't have to climb. I'd have to climb for that one. Well, you know, it's funny. You know, she ended up becoming the most one of the most successful real estate agents in Kentucky. Typical, you know, Stanford grad, very mm -hmm. overachieving oh, yeah. and everything. So uh, I sometimes would go to her website and look it up. Like, oh, yeah, you know, Sarah's selling more houses back there. Of course, how much did they go for? Yeah, enough that she's doing pretty well. Yeah, you know, you know, nose to nose, it doesn't matter. What's that? Knows knows it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's all they are. That's true. Yeah. Well, it's funny when I went out. I had a couple was... of booty calls with a uh, basketball pl player. Played Did you? For, she played for Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, she was like six three. Four. Six three or four. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You, you climb up there and get those coats. That was that was, a, <laughs> was, a, it, was an it was an interesting climb. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Now, this gal was a character. She was funny. Yeah, it's I mean, a small yeah, town I girl. Make the questions a little harder. Do you guys like easy questions or hard uh, questions? It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I, I, we can have fun with easy. We can have fun with hard. Bring, just, dude, just bring it. Yeah, just bring it. Just bring it on. Bring it on. All right. Now this one, this is probably a little bit more for you when we get into it. Because fantasy football, I, I don't really know that much. I'm in it. The Saltless Nuts. That's the name of my team. Yeah, he's into it. The Saltless Nuts. That's a great name to go off that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I. <laughs> When I, I, I usually I usually take with I, I usually carry on me just a snack on uh, a bottle of saltless nuts. Good idea. That's good. And good um, and so and I would bring them to work with me, and I would just offer saltless nuts, Keep and then the uh and 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 you know, just kind of <laughs> sort of evolved. Kind of took on a life of its own. Now everybody calls you saltless nuts. And then uh then we had a, we had a production meeting with the 49ers just for a, a preseason game. And Harbaugh's in there, oh, and I God. and I, I have and I, I go, Coach, saltless nuts. <laughs> and he goes, oh yeah, I love nuts. Oh. Harbaugh's a character. <laughs> I, got to, I got to work with Harbaugh last year at Stanford. He is a strange dude. Is he really? Well, 
one time I asked him, it was at the end of the show, and I was kind of kidding with him. I said, well, it's a big game. It's a, a Friday night game, so I know you want to get your nap in the afternoon, so you'll be in, because I know you have a lot of energy. Sharp. He gives it, me yeah. this look like this. Okay, Bruce. And then but the mics go off. He goes, Bruce, tomorrow night, make sure you get your nap, Bruce. <laughs> 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 his, his brother's not weird, though. No, his brother's his brother seems very, 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 yeah, ordinary. That's Pete, why he he and Pete Carroll do not like each other. Oh, the brother? Or? Pete Carroll and, and Jim Harbaugh don't like each other. I think I I, I I I think they don't like each other, but I think there is mutual oh, respect, respect, big yeah. time. Yeah, definitely, because they've kicked each other's butts a few times. Well, yeah. Carol's had the like, yeah, yeah, pro level, but boy, Harbaugh kicked his butt in college. Yeah. Fifty-five to twenty-one game is what's your deal? Yeah, yeah, and 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 I and I think of it when as 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 Seattle was just pouring it on. <laughs> Sunday, and they kept showing those sideline shots. Yeah. Carol just, was just sweating on the yeah, sideline, yeah, yeah, hugging his coaches yeah. and stuff like that. I, just, I was like, hey, you know what? Sherman, man. Hey, that's, that, that, oh, that's, that's karma. Was, I didn't you know. I guess Sherman, what was it? Harbaugh disrespected him and said some bad things about Sherman, him? Sherman was great. At, I mean, he was a great soundbite at Stanford, yeah. I mean, but he's taking it to another level now. But why would Harbaugh say nasty things about the guy? I mean, why? She, she According to Sherman, after, after, a, uh, after a previous... 49er game, Harbaugh, he says, allegedly, Harbaugh drove by the team bus and was, like, honking and doing all so kinds of... Off Sherman. Yeah, he, exactly. Yeah, because and Sherman they never says, forgot that. Sherman says that, according to what I heard, Sherman says that Harbaugh bad-mouthed in the scouts so that he went down lower in the draft. Oh, oh see, I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't <laughs> substantiate that. I mean, first of all, I, I don't believe it. I, don't, I, do I, 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 don't, I don't believe I that. Don't believe I don't that. believe that. I don't believe that, that, that a coach would... Guy. Especially on a, on a player that no, that, that, that so like for a lower thing, they probably just blamed it on coach. Because Doug Baldwin really he probably he probably, re- he probably recruited Richard. He, he probably did. recruited Sherman. And it's just so well, I don't believe that at all. No. All right, here we go. Okay. okay. Welcome back to Sports Econ 101. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Vernon Glenn and uh, Bruce McAllister. Oh yes. Okay. When we got to the second commercial break, we asked this trivia question in basketball, which you pointed out is also probably in football too. Uh, what is Rutgers' team name? Bruce? Oh, Bruce. Well, Bruce. well, Don, I, Don Imus would know that right away. <laughs> yeah. The Scarlet Knights. The Scarlet Knights. Scarlet Knights. I love that name. That's a great that, name. That is a cool name. Yeah. Okay, I want to get into fantasy football and, because here, first of all. I'm Bird, all caught up in it, buddy. Bird, what is the name of your fantasy football team? Okay, I'm in, I'm, I'm in, a, I'm in a football league. It's called uh, KPIX Smash Mouth. Okay. And my team are the Saltless Nuts. In yeah. fact, if you go, if you go to the website, I have a little, I have a little logo. I have this little Planters Peanuts guy, I like like, with, with a hard hat, and he's uh, got this grimace on his face. I gotta, I, like I gotta the check The Saltless Nuts. Okay, so the reason I, like I, I, honestly, I don't know much about fantasy football. Okay. It's but great, man. I, it's well, you know pro football. So, I do, you know. yeah, but I, I, gotta, yeah. I, I get the idea. You know what it is, Edward? It, it, it keeps you in the game, even yeah. the most innocuous. Steelers Bengals game you'll, you'll becomes pay. interesting yeah. because you might have a player yeah. in that game, or you're playing against a guy that's got a player in that yeah. game, and if it's tight between you and him, I mean you're you're watching that game because I mean you you, you want to win. And, and oh, well, it, it has to do with statistics, though, yes. right? Yes, okay, it's all stats. Okay. So but no okay. defensive players, right, Vernon? No. no, no well, defense. well, you, you, well, you. Dry, everybody's got a. Everybody's got a, a team's defense. Right, but but nothing like okay. I want to follow. Ray but it's Dunn not. Yeah, it's, yeah. Whatever. It's not like it's, you don't get points for like you know okay. ten exactly. solo tackles. Ah, or something like okay. That. All right. So there's a company out there that is offering fantasy football insurance. What? Really? Yeah. It says here it's reported uh, that the first of all fantasy football is worth approximately 1.2 billion dollars. More than 270 businesses make money off of wow. fantasy teams. Well, we got a 12-team league. It's a $40 buy-in. Wow. There you go. Okay, that's just that's a lot of money sitting there in a kitty. Well, yeah. a lot of people go to Vegas and do all yeah. that. Yeah. Like, once a year. Sure. Whatever. And then, uh, yeah, because they have draft picks and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So then uh, it says for a 10% fee of cost, the cost of entering the league, average $50 to $100 per support, uh, you can get your top players if they're injured. Uh, the risk, of, you know, high risk of getting injured available for insurance. I mean, it's just like, it's crazy. You can actually, let's see here, recent studies show the average fantasy sports player spends $467 a year Ooh. playing in an average of six leagues. Mm. Wow. Do they, now they have hockey leagues and basketball leagues. Oh, they can, yeah. yeah. You can, hey, if you, Every, if you can get some action on it, then, yeah. you, then you can, yeah. So have you bought any insurance yet? I have not. Okay. <laughs> I will I, buy insurance. I, I, no, well, I mean, if a player goes down, like, and, I, and I, you know, players do get injured, you just kind of 
Suck it up. Yeah, you got to suck it up. You got to you got to go in and either drop that player, pick up another one from the available players that are out there. If you can maybe make a trade with somebody that's that 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 has a player that you might want on another team. Yeah, I can I can see how that you, that could eat up a lot of time. Now imagine if you had Colin Kaepernick in the, on the game one. You're yeah. just like riding high. Then <laughs> Sunday night. You're ready to just kill the guy. Let me tell you a story. Oh, go ahead. Okay? I'm down five points. Five points to uh, an anchor where at the TV station I worked for. And, and, and uh, he had all of his players that were playing. The two players I had left were Vernon Davis oh. and Anquan Bolden. And oh. you know the big week oh, that yeah. Bolden had yeah. against yeah. the Packers. Yeah. So, I, I mean, all they had to do collectively... Just maybe that. catch a couple of a couple of balls. Did Vernon catch any balls? Yeah. He Did caught. Uh, yeah, Vernon Davis caught one. 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 Anquan didn't catch any. Okay, he caught one. He, he caught, caught one. one. I mean, it, it just it was the most. And Vernon painful. hurt himself too. Didn't yeah, he? It was, yeah, yeah, it was out of the game. I was like, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> get back in. Get here. back in the game. I don't care about, don't care about your hamstring. <laughs> Enjoy the game, but, man. But but, but, but here, Doctor C here, get some turtle. Yeah, get some turtle. I want some turtle. Get it right now. But 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 Edward, here's the scene. Yeah. I mean, before the game even begins, all I need is five points. I mean, I I I, I would have well, won. How do the points work? It's it's on number of catches, okay. the, the yards uh, 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 yeah. uh, amassed, uh, touchdowns. You, know, you, you get yeah. points for all of that. So usually between those two guys, you know you, you know you're halfway you through the first quarter you're, you're and, 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 you, and you and you and you've, you you you've won the game. I mean, yeah. you've earned the right to. Beat your chest and 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 and, and do a victory Start lap around the news over the guy you beat. Yeah. So 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 imagine imagine my stress level as the game wore on, and I'm like, yeah, Bolden doesn't have any catches. Thank like, you, Richard Sherman. None. Richard Sherman. Oh, yeah, really, he caught really. he, he caught a pass in garbage time at the end. Yeah. By then it was too late. Yeah. Okay, so now I lost ninety nine to ninety six. Ooh. Okay, so now take this. Ouch. A cu- an, an hour later, when or how how. Much after the game, do you do your show when you're on TV? Well, I mean, it was a Sunday night. I mean, I went on, I went on later that night. But the guy, the, the anchor I'm playing against is a morning show anchor. Okay, but so, here's, so here's my question: You get on TV, and you're supposed to be objective about talking about the game. Make go, yeah, okay, here, hold down. Boy, wasn't that a frustrating game? Blah blah. But inside, you're gonna be burning. Because of losing. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, because 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 you know. Joe in Covington, Kentucky doesn't care that I, you know, that, that, that I've lost my fantasy football team. You know what? Soon they'll probably have rules about who can play in fa- Well, I guess, you know what? I guess football players probably can't. No. Play no I don't think they're allowed to play in fantasy No, games. probably not. No, I can't. No, you know what? And they just roll their eyes if if, if, if just some some, guy asks some, some, some Joe Schmo comes yeah. up and goes, hey, yeah, I, Trey, have a good game. I, I drafted you. You're my team. Yeah. You're my team. <laughs> I don't give a you know what. Yeah, these 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 you know these these pocket calculator carrying yeah. you know. You mean they, they don't say thank you very much for drafting me? No, it's just uh, just. Oh, that's right. They don't make any money if. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, um, going back for just a little bit here. Uh, Clay Matthews goes ahead and just clotheslines Kaepernick. Cost him fifteen grand. Fifteen to, grand to his favorite charity. Yeah. <laughs> to Not his a bad deal. Charity. Okay. Um, and, and the thing is, if I remember correctly, he kind of called it ahead of time that he was he was kind of gunning for Kaepernick. Well, well he right? had said he, yeah. he had said earlier in the week that, that 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 we have to stop Kaepernick to win the game, and so we plan to get our our touches on him. We plan you know we plan to hit him. And, and, you know, it's kind of like characteristic and, and, though, isn't it, of the way that he plays normally? He's a hard hitting guy, but he's a pretty clean player up until then, wasn't he, Bird? Yeah, and I and and I don't know. The game is so fast. You've seen it from the yeah. sidelines, Bruce. I mean, I. I mean, his his momentum was already headed that way. Yeah. They just happened to be flying out of bounds, and and linebackers as they are, you know, he just finished the job and just knocked him down. So I mean, it was a little, a little bit of a high hit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I mean, it, I can see where like, like how do you stop these guys when their momentum is going? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he was thinking rationally in his head. Now, okay, he's going to step out of bounds, <laughs> yeah. and I'm then gonna I'm going to I'm going to fly in the yeah. air and, and bring him down, and uh, you know, you, you know. I mean, he's just a tough guy. Speaking of that, did you, did you guys see that play that Charles Woodson made the other day where he leaped over a defensive that back was and grabbed Maurice Jones-Drew by the back of his jersey and just yanked him Which is not a horse collar, though. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't a horse collar, no. but, man, he, he, he... Well, he knocked him out of the game. In fact, he? he was asked, he was asked, how many guys did you leap over to get him? Two guys. And he said, 
I don't know, man. Hey, I was just leaping a tall building. He <laughs> was, too. Yeah. 36 years old. That's one of the things uh, I was going to bring up, too, is uh, how do you like the, how the tackle that Charles oh. Wilson does? You know what? Saved the touchdown with a leaping tackle. Yeah, highlight of the game. guys, right? Yeah, yeah. highlight of the game. That, that, was, awesome. that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, so going back to this uh, Clay Matthews thing. So Ndamukong Sue gets 100000 for a block, right? And then if you saw the end of the Jets-Pats game with the low block, you know, there, I don't know if there's going to be a penalty um, fines for that. That's an issue. The cut yeah. block. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It just. I mean, Fort Niners just lost their defensive tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Due to a cut block, broke broke his ankle. Yeah. So now, what, what do they? Do you think the uh, league has favorites? Say it's someone like Clay Matthews. You know, and I'm sure players. they do. I, you know, they won't say that. But you got, I mean, I think they're going to protect certain players just because of their marketability and visibility. They don't want those guys out. Don't you think so, Frank? I think I, 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 I think I think unless the, until there's just just a rash of injuries, just boom, 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 due to the cut block, I think only then will they step in and go, okay, we got it, we got to make that illegal, because yeah. yeah. it, it's 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 a it's a horrible way to go. Oh, this yeah, cut yeah. block, I mean, because you don't see it coming. I mean, I, if you know, if you're gonna block somebody. How Look at him in the eyes. They've been doing it though. They've been doing it for a while. Oh, they've been doing it. But Bob McKittrick used to teach yeah, it. Yeah, right. Randy Bob McKittrick, yeah, the, 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 the old offensive line coach for the 49ers. Yeah, yeah Randy it. Cross and, and uh, Steve Wallace, those guys were great at it. Yeah, and then Brent Jones would say, yeah, he he, he, he would have to say to another opponent, hey, sorry, man, hey, I, I, it's how they, they told us to coach. You know, they coached us this way. We have to, sorry, you know, he's all apologetic. Yeah. So, yeah. They talk about the Raiders being mean and nasty. How about those Niners huh? back in the eighties? Yeah, 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 that's that's true. Yeah. Okay, moving on here a little bit. Uh, Mayweather beats Alvarez. Wow. Now, why is such a why is such a purse as large as it is for 150 pound? I guess because it's Mayweather, right? It's Mayweather. It's it, it's Showtime, owned by CBS. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot. Of, I mean, he he signed a big fat contract with them, and that, that that's paying him a lot of money. Plus, he gets part of the gate. Plus, he gets part of the pay per view. It's uh. Yeah, that's that's how he gets his forty-five million. Have you ever talked to him? By and, and it, yeah, I have. He's and, an interesting guy. Yeah, <laughs> and, he, he, and and he's a gambler. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, he's he's got an aunt that lives near here somewhere yeah, he's in North Carolina. Yeah. But uh, but but in any event, he knows that uh, that 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 any opponent he faces or chooses, it's it's like hitting the lottery for that oh, opponent. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that guy was happy to take a powder. <laughs> you know, I think I would too. Yeah, that kind of money. sure. Okay. All right. Um, last week there was a rookie pitcher named Fernandez for the Marlins, and he hits. A, it's a rookie oh, pitcher, I love right? That, he hits, yeah. he, right? Hit the home run. He hits a home run yeah. and watches it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, what is all the uproar? Okay. What, well, what? then he spat at the well, third he, baseman after that. When he was running third, he spat in the direction of the third baseman as he was running for him. I thought the idea was just the fact that he just watched his home run. That was part of it. And that, that, and that, that breaks the code, too. That you're not breaks supposed the code. to do that. Yeah, but you don't spit. You don't spit. So spit. I'm thinking, okay. I mean, but, I mean, unless you're unless you're Ken Griffey Jr., yeah. Barry Bonds, uh, I don't know, David Ortiz, I mean, I mean, th- those guys of that stature yeah. get a chance to watch it admire their shot. Who was the first guy who, the who admired it? Was it Reggie? Was he the first guy to do that? I think it was. Reggie used to do it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, they don't like that too much. So I'm thinking, okay, what do they want him to do? Wear a dress and lob the ball over the plate? I mean, come on. You know, these guys got to be men. You know, I, I say the Braves should have let their bats do their talking. Yeah. You know, it's one thing if a guy's like strutting around, but it, you know, the guy's a rookie. It, he's a pitcher. It's his first home run. Okay, give him a little. I don't think in baseball they yeah. just they, they do kind of stifle the excitement that players want to the, the, the yeah. demonstrations simply because there's so many games. They figure, hey, it's only one home run. You know, don't make a big deal if you if you win a World Series, different story. But I'll tell you what, that'll never happen again because no. dollars, oh, to do, dollars to donuts. No, he got called into the manager's office oh, yeah. between the manager, pitching coach, whoever. Somebody talked to him and said, "Hey, man, dude, hey, kid." And you know what? He that. did apologize. Oh, of course. The interesting thing about it, both him and, and Puig are both kind of hot, not hot heads, but they're a little full of themselves. Mm-hmm. They're going to get their come up as both those guys. And you got to figure some of these guys are going to be gunned in front of them. Oh, oh, sure. Pitching inside there. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, but you know what? Unfortunately, Dodgers A's that. World Series, I'm calling it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Back to 1970. 74. 74. 88. 88. 88. Oh, please don't remind me about that one. Okay, here is our third and final trivia question. And again, please wait until my answer. You've been sitting there very nice and quietly last seven minutes. Okay, 
What is Syracuse football team name? Uh, First three callers with the correct answer. What a free three days in the United States. Yeah, it's the lighthouse. The old name or the new yeah, name? Yeah, that's right. There's two names. There's the there were name. two. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you get both of them. Okay. Well, there, 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 was, there was the original one, and then they got all PC, yeah. and now it's the one that we know now. Okay, I, I'll tell you the one I have when we come back from break, and you tell me the both of them. Okay, call 888-660-4495 to answer this question. What is Syracuse football team name? Make sure to include your name, your email address. Please slowly spell out your email one letter at a time. Don't touch that dial because when Sports Econ 101 comes back, we're going to be having some amusing comments. Okay. Well, it used to be the Orangeman. It was the Orangeman. Yeah. Then, what was it? Five years ago, they went to the Orange. Orange. Yeah. Why, why is Orangeman a bad thing? Is it I have, bad I because of the men. I have no. Orange I have no idea. Well, I mean, what is what is an orange man supposed to be? I have. I Just, don't. Hey, uh, somebody from Holland, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that's it. Holland. Yeah, because remember the Holland like, like awesome. Redskins or something yeah. like that. I know. See, Amy Trask is taking up the task of uh, fighting the NFL with the Redskins. What is she doing now? Fighting the fighting for the NFL or fighting fighting, fighting the NFL or well, trying to push the NFL to, to get rid of the to get rid of it. Okay. And what is she doing now? Well, Amy, Amy, Amy's on. Amy's one of us now. Well, Amy's right. on the TV. Amy's on the CBS pregame show. Yeah. The, the on 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 the on the Tell CBS on, on the CBS the CBS network channel. Is that all Not, she's doing? It's all she's. Well, yeah, well, I mean, she's on. She, I mean, she's, she, they're, they're on all day. It's yeah. like okay. you know what it is, Bruce. It's uh, it's 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 like uh, it's like a twenty-four. It's hour like day. it's like it's 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 like ESPN two to ESPN. Well, it's just football. So, so, yeah, CBS has its own sports network channel. Right. Just like just like well, that's just, the one David just like just like, just like Versus used to. <laughs> you remember Versus? Yeah. And the Versus became uh, NBC sure, Sports sure. Network. Yeah. So 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 CBS has their own thing, and Amy's okay. part of that. Uh, and, uh, you, know, you know who does a show on that is uh, Damon Bruce on the weekends from uh, from KBR. That guy's talented, man. Yeah, D Bruce. Yeah. He's a little bit full of himself, but he's, he knows radio. But he's, he, know, he knows radio. He backs it up. Yeah. and Puts on a good show. He does. He's very entertaining. I do. I do listen. I listen to him. I. I just listen for entertainment. I listen That's to funny. him. I listen to him noon to three. I mean, half Primarily. the time I think I don't agree with it, but I find it. I listen. I listen to. Uh, I listen to noon to three. Mm -hmm. Unless unless Greg Papa's on ninety five seven, then I'll flip over and let listen to Papa. Greg. Papa. I love I like Papa. Him. Yeah, Papa's he's great. Good. He's very good. I think he does basketball too. Never smart to have him on there. And he can do two sports like he's that. He's good. He was great. Well, I mean, that's yeah. where he made his. That's where he made his name, uh, doing a radio play by play. Yeah, for the when he was at Syracuse, oddly enough. Yeah, that's right. He was. He, he was in. A, he was in that Faces in the Crowd thing yeah, in Sports that's Illustrated. How he did the job with well, the, he was uh, still in Sports Illustrated. They, they, they spread Pacers, on him in the eighties. Indiana Pacers then hired then, him. Right then, out of Indiana Pacers hired him right out of Syracuse. Roger, Roger Blamar. Kid. And then Roger Blamar came out <laughs> here and hired him. I gotta. I gotta. Uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with guys who can do play by play for hockey and basketball. You know, I'm telling hockey players. In basketball, you know, who does yeah. a really good job with all those sports is Roxy Bernstein. Roxy Bernstein, very good. I'm not a big fan of his with baseball because I think his he throws in too much statistics and enough stories. But the other sports, he's very good. I don't, I don't think he throws enough stories because he doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. That's the story. <laughs> so, a big, so he just kind of brings more of with a, whatever strength yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's technically very solid. Yeah. Any last, uh, you know, we don't have enough time to get into a couple of other things, but uh, I'll, I'll tell one little quick fun story oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Do you last any closing comments? We only have two minutes, 30 seconds left. Okay. Mm. Time goes by when you have a good time. That is true. Okay. Welcome back to Sports Econ 101. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with Vernon Glenn Yo. and Bruce McGowan. Hello. And uh, as Bruce says, that uh, this is therapy for him every week. It I, is. I, I, I come out of here laughing. That. I'm relaxed. I, I feel like I've purged my system of poisons, like the, the good doc is giving me you know, some, some <laughs> syrup yourself. or something. You know, yeah. something to cleanse my system. Here you go. Okay, the third commercial break trivia question. What is Syracuse football team name? The Orange. The Orange. And, and I actually oh, Orange Men? Orange Men is what yeah. I had, but we will accept either yeah. answer. And the that's orange. not politically correct to say Orange Men. Why not? I, I don't, don't know. know. Oh, I know uh, why, because you're, you're, you're uh, disrespecting people from home. Is that really? Yeah, they call themselves the Orange over there. The sports teams do. You know, the hockey or the uh, soccer team. Wasn't what they called the Orange? I, I don't yeah. know. I know that the All Blacks in New Zealand has nothing yeah. to do with race. It's no. all just the uniform. Mm -hmm. they yeah. they don't, I don't think they have any Blacks. So we would accept New Zealand, they? Orange, Orange Men, but not purple, blue, or red. No, right. No right. colors. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I got this, this is a cute little funny story here I was reading about the, uh, the Rays. This is a couple weeks ago. The Rays tried to come back, tried to come back from a 3-1 deficit against the A's 
uh, some Friday night, and closer Fernando Rodney had something other than a rally on his mind. How am I going to get out of this bathroom? Apparently, he entered the dugout and uh, in the laboratory uh, early in the evening, in the inning, and he closed the door and the lock broke. Mm. Oh, so no, after couldn't 15, get out. Yeah, couldn't get out. After 15 minutes trapped inside, he was freed by a maintenance worker with a crowbar. Now, during his, uh, as I would say, enforced powder break, the Rays had scored twice. They ended up losing 4-3, but prompted manager Joe Madden to say afterward, man, we should have kept them in there. <laughs> <laughs> those, I'll tell you, those bathrooms on the uh, next to the dugouts are nasty. I had to use one one time before a game. I don't know what. They don't ever clean those things up. No, that's terrible. Okay, here's our thoughts for the day. Ty Cobb once said, every great batter works on the theory that the pitcher is more afraid of him than he is of the pitcher. Mm. That's good. And Doug Collins, I'm not sure who he is, said any time Detroit scores more than 100 points and holds the other team below 100 points, they almost always win. He was a pretty good player with uh, Philadelphia. Now, now and he was a coach also. Very good player for the Philadelphia and, yeah. and a great coach yeah. too. Now there's a lot of wisdom for you, yeah. right? Okay. Tune in next week. Michael Please. Jordan got him fired, didn't he? Uh, he no, did that's indeed. Good. Chicago Bulls. Guys, we have to cut That's here. a story for another, another day. Another time. Tune in next week to Sports Econ 101 where we discuss <laughs> sports topics from a business perspective and give away vacations for answering trivia questions. Thanks for listening. On behalf of our team, I'm Edward Brown, your host. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, America. Goodbye, America. All right, another good show. What time do you got, Edward? Uh, 4 o'clock. Perfect. Right on the mic.